Hey everyone, so I just got done recording like a 20 minute video, it ended up being so much longer than I anticipated uh, about workflow and different desktop environments. And then I realized, you know what, I just need to split this up in different videos. So that's what I'm going to do. I guess this is going to be like a middle, uh, little mini series on uh, desktop workflow. Uh, you know, I'm going to keep it very, very basic. Basically, it's going to be my thought of the different desktop environments and some of the things I like, don't like about them. Um, because one of the things I noticed in Linux is you have so much choice with desktop environments that they can get kind of confusing. Um, and, and me, I really enjoy playing around uh, with the different desktop environments and seeing what's out there. But I've also uh, spent a tremendous amount of time doing this. So if you're one of those people that just want to get right into a good desktop environment and or at least want to narrow the list down to maybe like one or two to choose from or perhaps even three, um, perhaps you'll find this series helpful and uh, hopefully it'll save you some time. So in this video, we're going to uh, basically talk about uh, some of the um, the normal desktop environments. And what I mean by normal, the more traditional, uh, what everyone's used to, um, uh, Lubuntu, uh, which is based off of LXDE. We'll talk about um, uh, Mate or Mate, however that's pronounced. And we'll also talk about XFCE uh, or Zubuntu. Now in this series, the next series, I'm going to break down. Uh, we'll go over some Kubuntu. We'll go over Mint and Cinnamon Edition. Um, we'll also look at uh, Ubuntu uh, with Unity. We'll also look at Ubuntu with Gnome Shell. And uh, my personal favorite, uh, when I'm kind of running with the uh, awesome Windows Manager uh, on top of an XFCE uh, kind of setup. So I will admit, uh, I know a lot of people are, are fans of the traditional type desktop environments. Um, after using all of these, I am not. Uh, I know a little spoiler in the whole miniseries, but... Uh, even though I'm using a Tyler window manager, um, if that wasn't available to me, I would probably be using either Ubuntu with Unity or GNOME Shell. And the reason for that is the workflow, once you get used to it, is fantastic for using keyboard shortcuts and navigating uh, your open applications. I feel with a traditional desktop, uh, it, I'm definitely not as quick anymore, and it's actually kind of irritating. But I do know some people like traditional desktops, so that's why uh, in this video we'll go over them very, very quickly, and then um, uh, and then we'll get into the more uh, uh, newer desktop environment. Now, the reason I'm not going to spend a tremendous amount of time on the traditional desktop environments is, to be quite honest, there's really not much to say, right? If if you come from a Windows background or from a traditional desktop environment background, you know exactly what you're getting, right? Uh, you have the start menu or or some kind of panel, and then you can just uh, get to your applications. And really, there's nothing fancy. You may have a couple of virtual desktops, and that's pretty much it. So let's quickly start with Lubuntu. We'll talk about some of the pros and cons. Um, this is my absolute favorite for older hardware. Uh, in fact, I have an old uh, laptop um, that I run Linux on, and it actually runs Lubuntu. Now, I do run it with Awesome Windows Manager. It's a little bit more advanced how I have it set up. But the idea is very, very similar. I just want something that is a low memory footprint, uh, and that's it. I had two gigs of RAM uh, on the laptop, um, and Lubuntu worked perfect for that. Uh, it wasn't very resource intensive, and then that way all my resources could be dedicated to apparently the uh, web browser because that was eating up all my memory. But again, it's great because the operating system isn't taking up my memory. I could actually use it towards the applications. On newer hardware, this probably isn't an issue, but uh, if you're using old hardware, uh, Lubuntu all the way. My minor gripes with it is you don't have as many setting choices compared to uh, Mate and XFCE. Um, you also can't do some basic function functions, at least not to my knowledge, uh, like window snapping. And what I mean by that is you take your little window and you drag it to the side and it automatically takes up half the screen. Uh, at least I couldn't see where that uh, was achievable with Lubuntu. But again, um, great for older hardware. Next up is XFCE. This is kind of middle of the road, in my opinion, between uh, Mate and uh, the LXDE desktop environments. Uh, what I really like about it is that it has a lot more settings than um, uh, like a like a LXDE or a Lubuntu. 
but uh, it's not overwhelming amount of settings. Um, uh, with the latest XFCE, they did introduce some basic tile snapping. You can set that all up. Um, it has a lot more settings that you can go through and kind of customize the experience to whatever fits your needs. Uh, so I really, really like XFCE. Couple minor complaints: the uh, file manager Thunar. Um, I was using Zubuntu 14.04. With Thunar, oh man, was it crashy. It was just so irritating. It was like at least once a day, Thunar would just crash. I, I don't know what was causing it, but it was just driving me insane. Now, this is easily remedied with just installing another file manager. Uh, some people like to do this. Some people don't. I don't have a problem installing another file manager. Um, so that's what I've done. I've just kind of taken Thunar out of the equation. And then finally, there is Mate. Um, I don't have too much experience with this, I'll be honest. Um, I have ran it in uh, some virtual boxes. Um, I I like where it's heading, but to me it's basically GNOME 2 on steroids. I mean, basically they've taken GNOME 2 for any uh, Linux users that have already uh, that are familiar with GNOME 2. Uh, it was like the traditional desktop, and it was pretty much the standard for many many years. Um, I I don't know. I just feel currently that it's not as polished as it should be um, because it's still young. Um, I, for, I, I wasn't using version 1.8. I think uh, it was the version below that. I can't remember what it was. But uh, like the icons wouldn't refresh right away. Um, I thought it was a little bit more resource heavy than what it should be uh, as far as being responsive and stuff like that. Um, I, I definitely like where it's heading, especially if you're into their traditional desktop environments. Uh, again, I'm not really, but um, uh, if you are, um, I think it's a wonderful project and it's definitely worth checking out. Um, and I'll be curious to see what happens in the next iterations when it, when it kind of matures. I know there's talk, at least with the Ubuntu Mate uh, or Mate, uh, version of doing some uh, like one click I want a Mac type experience that automatically launches that experience as far as the docs and sets everything up so I'm really really curious to see what they're going to do with it and uh, you know you know who knows um, so I fully support the project I think it's fantastic but um, out of the three uh, if I have the hardware to support it and I'm looking for a traditional desktop as of right now I lean more towards XFCE if I have lower hardware uh, I go towards uh, LXDE or Lubuntu, and uh, in the future, I would definitely consider uh, Mate. All right, that's it for this video. Uh, next video, we'll go over uh, Kubuntu and KDE. I'll actually show it off in a uh, uh, in a virtual box real quick, uh, just to, to give you some ideas of some workflow, what's some of the things I like about it, what's some of the things I don't like about it. And that way you can kind of decide if uh, a KDE desktop environment may be for you.